over to the coast where anti-graft crusaders in Mombasa joined Mombasa's Haki Africa today morning to stage the first round of the planned weekly Red Thursday protest to petition the state to deal with corruption. Now the group of demonstrators donned in red attire made procession within the city making calls of, for the head of state and other key players to show true commitment in dealing with escalating levels of corruption in Kenya. The Red Thursday movement requires all Kenyans to wear red attire every Thursday as a way of expressing discontent over runway graft. Fight corruption or resign. William Ruto. Fight corruption or resign. Isaac Ruto. Fight corruption or all right, let's now uh, speak to our Coast Region reporter, Francis Ontomwa, who will give us more details on the Red Thursday protests. A very good afternoon to you, Francis. What exactly happened in the morning? There has been everything red here in the city of Mombasa. The Red Thursday movement has begun in earnest. And basically this movement targets to uh, ask Kenyans to actually put on their red attires on this particular day and be able to, uh, to, to actually meet within uh, their locations and uh, up their voices, of course, against uh, corruption. They are saying that this is the only way that the common man can actually find a way to display uh, their displeasure. And indeed, it, 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 the, the, the organizations here, the human rights organizations here led by Haki Africa made rounds in the city of Mombasa trying to amass as many people as they could so that they are able to uh, really find a platform to air their grievances. They are saying that it's enough is enough yeah, as far as corruption is concerned. And they are citing, of course, the mega scandals that have been dogging the country. We are talking of the Eurobond, the National Youth Service scandal, and the latest one, of course, being the Afia House scandal. Those are some of the issues that they are raising. And what they are asking, uh, uh, in essence, they are saying that this state officials who have impl been implicated in these particular uh, uh, scandals, they must go home. And that is uh, the message that they've been trying, of course, to air. This is just a first of this uh, edition, and they're saying that they'll be having a series of more of that of this, of course, moving uh, across the country to try and ask as many Kenyans to uh, rally behind this particular call so that uh, corruption is actually dealt with decisively in Kenya. Akisa at uh, the protesters. One, um, a number of them had held placards uh, that uh, were asking the Mombasa County Governor um, Ali Hassan Joho to deal with corruption as well. Is this just to do with the national government or it boils down to the county as well? Well, indeed, uh, the placards were quite clear that indeed it's not a national uh, issue, a national uh, a government affair. They're also going down to the counties there. Uh, when actually they were making those calls, you'll hear them citing all the, all sorts of uh, the governors in Kenya. They will call Hassan Joho of Mombasa. They will call Amazon King of Kilifi, Munya of Meru, and many other governors, of course, trying to pile pressure. Just an indication that corruption is not just at national level, but it's also in the counties, and they are also piling pressure on these particular leaders to be able to come out and deal with corruption. Some critics, of course, have said that uh, these protesters, these human rights organizations are backing up the wrong tree. They're saying that uh, they should actually take up this matter to court, uh, bring the culprits and, uh, of course, uh, nail them in court uh, as per the Constitution and as per the law. But, of course, uh, according to them, they are saying that it is a common man way of showing displeasure. And they are saying that that is the only way and that is the small way that they might also contribute in this particular fight against corruption. Therefore, they're saying they're not relenting, but they will be making this every Thursday. And also, apart from just putting on the red attires, they are saying that uh, every 11 a.m. they will be also asking motorists to hoot, and uh, who, of course, who have uh, some sort of prolonged hooting, so that they also, uh, uh, part of this, they also be, uh, play part of this particular uh, protest, so that they are able to actually show uh, that, indeed, this corruption is, of course, going to, uh, it has gone to escalated levels that are haunting Kenyans, uh, Akisa. Francis, for that, and of course, as Francis says, uh, these are new measures that civil society groups are taking to protest every Thursday and uh, ask um, um, motorists to hoot, do prolonged hooting at about 11 a.m. to protest against the runaway graft in the country. Of course, we will keep you up to speed with that, but let's go back to our topic.